Yo, what's up everyone? I hope you're doing well. I just want to do a very quick video showcasing some very nice basics from Abercrombie & Fitch, which is a sentence I would not have guessed I would have said on this channel, but here I am eating my own words. This all started when my girlfriend wanted to swing by and look at an item, and I was kind of peeping around, and what really caught my eye were the very nice wearable basics and some lovely tones, really soft material, nice cut to it and seemingly very good build quality. So um, after kind of thinking about it for a couple weeks, I went ahead and pulled the trigger on it. Um, I think these are very nice additions to my wardrobe and I think they can fit into a lot of different styles. And so in this video, I'm gonna kind of show, try and show different ways that you can wear them. God, I haven't worn this brand since I was maybe like 10, 11 years old, but here we are, full circle, back at it again. So anyways, Let's go ahead and go to the first item I would like to show. Starting with what I think is the most unique of these basic items is this color block hoodie from their Essentials line. And what's really unique about this is they stitch together two different colors in the hoodie, as you can see here. And so while it still maintains to be a very versatile piece, because of that contrast between the two different fabrics, I think it adds a little bit of extra flair when compared to other more normal hoodies. And they offer this cut in whole colors as well. You don't have to get a divided two color hoodie. But this really kind of did catch my eye. I think just adds a little bit of flair to your standard hoodie. And I think it looks kind of good when you kind of layer it. It just adds some extra dimension to an outfit, I would say. And it just highlights some very basic design features of a hoodie, such as the kangaroo pouch and the hood. I don't know, it just kind of makes it stand out a little bit. It's a super soft fabric, both inside and out. Details I would like to touch on is the lack of any hoodie strings. That's something that I do like to have or to not have on my hoodies. And then also the, the way they stitch the sleeve down, it's kind of on the top part of the forearm, which I think is pretty unique. It's a nice little detail that I noticed. Now this is an oversized cut. It's not too terribly large, but I did get a size large and I am six foot two and kind of a slim build with a 38 inch chest, roughly speaking. And something that you can do to alter the length of this piece is you can tuck the bottom hem up inside to make it a little bit more cropped and kind of show some layers underneath the hoodie. The hood is slightly on the small side. Maybe I have a long neck, but really that's my only minor complaint with this piece. Styling this is very easy, as you can probably guess. Now, because this is a little bit oversized, I like to wear it with some baggier, wider pants and maybe some chunkier shoes. So I'm wearing these with my Anton Levy Azari cargo pants and then my Salomon 4D Quest boots. I think this is a nice autumn or springtime transition basic outfit. And I think it fits very well into my personal style. And you can easily layer a coat over this. So for example, here, I just threw on a Uniqlo Block Tech coat. Uh, they don't have this particular model anymore, but they do have similar ones that I will kind of put in the description as well. But because this hoodie is a little bit oversized and it's a size large, which, which generally I wear a size medium, it makes layering not as easy as if it was a little bit slimmer. Um, so I just kind of match a little bit more bulkier items with this hoodie and I think it looks pretty good. Now, if you don't want such a gloomy, depressing looking outfit, you can easily wear this with some blue jeans and some just basic white sneakers or some kind of normal canvas cargo pants and like something like Air Jordans. So again, extremely easy to wear, but what I really like about this is the tone and cut of it. And it's also super soft as well, uh, which is just a nice little perk. But that's really all to say about this hoodie other than I really like it and it comes in a lot of different colors. So again, size large. I'll go ahead and throw the measurements in the description as well. Moving on to the second item. This is their Essentials zip up hoodie and I got it in this really nice charcoal wash. It's a little bit lighter than the gray in the previous hoodie. Personally, I think zip up hoodies are very versatile when it comes to layering, almost more so than normal hoodies that are, don't have the zip. But this is made from the same material as the last hoodie, so very soft inside and out. Now this is oversized like the last one, but I did get this in a size medium. And so it's a little bit slimmer, but it has pretty much the same length in the torso and in the sleeves. 
And a nice feature with this is it does have a double zipper, which I always love. Because a lot of times with zip up hoodies, or really anything that zips up, when you sit down or you walk and it's a little bit longer, it tends to kind of bunch up weird um, along the front. You're able to zip it up from the bottom. It can kind of flare out and just be a little bit nicer to walk in and to sit down in. And it also adds for seeing some extra layering opportunities that you can kind of show the inside of the outfit from the bottom. More possibilities with the zip up hoodie. But like with the other hoodie, you can easily just wear this on its own, kind of any more techie fit, like I'm wearing here with those same Azari cargo pants and Salomon boots. Or you can easily wear this with some blue jeans or some normal cargo pants and just some white sneakers and a t-shirt. Super easy. Honestly, at the end of the day, these are the types of fits that I wear kind of day in and day out. You know, just running errands, hanging around the house. This is the type of fit I actually wear. And so I think these pieces are gonna be very good staples in my wardrobe. But just to show just how versatile this piece is, I'm gonna show some layering opportunities with this item. So uh, I threw this flannel on over it and I think the tones work really well through it, but really any flannel and a zip up hoodie I think can look good, um, especially if you match proportions and tones. But I got this flannel like five years ago at like a Dillard's, it was on sale. It was, a, it was a sale on their sale rack. It was like 20 bucks. It was really good though. Um, but I think Abercrombie has some similar toned, um, nicely soft flannels as well. But overall, I think it's a very comfortable and cozy fit. But to really change up the look, but keeping the same basic core outfit the same, I threw on a casual blazer. This one is from Lululemon. And it kind of acts as a very light shell jacket or light windbreaker. But again, being able to zip the hoodie up or leave it open can really change the look of layering in an outfit. Now, if you're looking to go for more warmth, layering something like a bomber jacket over a zip up hoodie, I think is a pretty classic layering combo, especially if you want a more military look to your outfit. Now, personally, my Alpha Industries bomber jacket has a gold zipper, this has a silver, so it kind of clashes a little bit, but I don't think it's a big deal. I like the silhouette of it. I like how the bomber jacket's a little bit more cropped and the hoodie is a little bit longer. It kind of creates a cool layering effect, a little bit of dimension to the outfit. Another combo that I've been wearing a lot with the zip up hoodie is I've been throwing my Valence Mayon jacket on. I think that's how you pronounce it, I don't know. I actually need to do a video on that jacket. I've just been like kicking it down the road. I personally really like the textures between the hoodie, a t-shirt, and then that jacket. Also, I like the kind of gradient color. It goes from dark t-shirt to light jacket. There's a lot of different layering combinations. This, and I could probably do a whole video on different layer combos with different hoodies. Lastly, I picked up three of their essential t-shirts. And they have this deal where if you buy three, you get them for 50, which is a discount like per t-shirt, which I think is slightly above average for your standard t-shirt. However, when you factor in what I think is a very nice cut, a very nice, soft, thick fabric, and really lovely tones and colors, it's well worth it for me, especially going into spring and summer where your t-shirt is kind of a huge staple piece in an outfit. So I did pick up a very nice lavender color that's almost like a gray pastel purple. In the, on, I think on camera it looks like almost too gray, but in person it definitely looks lavender. And then I picked up a straight black as well. However, uh, it almost looks like a faded black extremely matte, no shine whatsoever, because most of my basics up until this point have been from like Uniqlo Airism line, which they're very breathable, very soft fabric. However, they kind of have like that athletic shine to it, which can throw off outfits in my opinion, especially when you're looking at it in person. However, these, as you can see on camera, completely just matte tone to it. And then I picked up this really nice charcoal t-shirt as well, which you've probably seen me wear in earlier clips in this video. Something that I've kind of gathered over my years of being into fashion is I'm not very good at styling colors. However, if you can match tones very well, you can kind of and kind of have all your colors be a little bit more muted and washed out. It makes it makes matching together different colors in an outfit a lot easier. So for example, in this fit, I have some like cream Air Jordan 1s, some kind of washed out army green cargo pants. I think I got them from like Amazon actually. It was like 30 bucks a couple years ago. 
Uh, and then just the lavender t-shirt and you can also throw on the hoodie on it. By itself, those colors don't necessarily go together. However, when you put them all together, if they're all kind of muted, it looks pretty well put together in my opinion. One of my favorite videos I ever did actually was on styling tones in an outfit. So what I really like about these is it's not a super boxy cut to it. I did get a size medium in all three and it's pretty slim, which I think fits my body pretty nicely. And But what I really like about it is the sleeve length. On standard t-shirts, I generally will like cuff the sleeves up one or two times just to get it to where I like it. However, with these, they just come naturally shorter. So I feel like I don't need to do that. Honestly, if I do roll them up, it's a little bit too short, if I'm being honest. So unless it's like a super, super hot day, I'm probably not gonna be doing that. I think for a very nice, simple summer fit, wearing a nicely fitted black t-shirt like this one, some Levi's, these are Levi 502s, they fit me very well. Um, and then just some basic white sneakers. These are Adidas Nizza. They're basically just some non-skate versions of the match courts. You know, super simple fit, but I think because the, the tones work really well together and it fits well on me, it makes for a decent, simple, wearable outfit. And you can always throw on one of these hoodies on. It gets a little chilly in the evening, just saying. Overall, I think these are some very nice basic t-shirts. I kind of can't say too much about a basic t-shirt. So I've probably already gone on too long on, on them. But anyways, guys, I will go ahead and leave um, outfit descriptions to everything in the description below. I'll try and link it. Um, and I do occasionally will use affiliate links, so it doesn't add anything to the price. But if you do choose to purchase something using one of those links, I get a very, very small cut of that sale. It just helps me out and I just wanna be completely open and honest with my viewers on that. Anyways, I will see you in video pretty soon. So see ya, have a good one and uh, 